This video is going to review the resources that I used and how I would use them differently now that I have taken the simile step one. So first of all, a little bit about my study schedule and how long I studied. So I actually studied for 10 to 11 weeks and I know that's a long time and a lot of people don't have that flexibility. Luckily at my school um, we were out in about Feb mid February into February and I had to s I have until I don't start third year until July first part of July so um, in and during this time we were able to do research and uh, or start early clerkships um, if we wanted to um, but I took 10, 10 to 11 weeks to study and I actually took a week in the middle of that because I had uh, research poster and presentation to prepare for and uh, which took up a, about a week a little bit more than a week of my time and then I also had some personal um, things to deal with in the middle of my studying that kind of broke it up a little bit so um, the first three weeks I used Usimli RX and I did one full pass of first aid in three weeks I did a, a 1000 Usimli RX questions. Um, the last five weeks, after, so after the first three weeks, I then cracked down and I started doing U World. So after those first eight weeks of studying, I had about two, two and a half weeks left to study, and I did all of my incorrects and marked questions from U World. Um, U World allows you to mark any questions um, that were difficult or that you'd like to review later. So I did my incorrects and my marked questions in UWorld those last two weeks. And I also finished Usimli RX. Um, so that was about another 1,400 questions in the last two weeks. Um, for me, I felt like it was, I used the, those questions, especially in Usimli RX, more as flashcards because I could get through them pretty quick. Um, I mean, I was probably doing about 44 questions in Usimli RX every 30, 35 minutes. Um, so I was using them more as flashcards to quiz myself um, to make sure that I had first aid down. For me, I liked that. Um, I still don't have my score back, but I felt like it was effective and it helped to nail down some of those um, those quick facts um, that are important from first aid. First, with UWorld, I did all of my questions random and timed. As I mentioned, timing was an issue. So if timing's an issue for you, I would make sure you do all of your questions timed. And I really liked doing them random because I had a good mixture of material throughout all 2,400 questions of UWorld that I did. And I helped, thought that that um, was very similar to how the test would be. So. I did my UWorld questions after one full first pass of first aid, which was good because then I had a, a strong foundation um, from my first pass of first aid. And honestly, I wouldn't change how I used UWorld very much. Um, I finished all 2,400 questions and I did all of my incorrects and marked a second time. So. Um, I didn't get through all the questions twice, but I at least hit my incorrects and marked questions. And my marked questions were typically ones that I may have guessed on, or I wasn't confident in why I chose the answer that was correct. Now to review Usimli RX. So as I mentioned, I did 1,400 questions in the first three weeks of my studying, which those were subject-based, and in the last two weeks of my studying I did 1400 questions randomized and timed and I feel like Usimli RX was a great resource um, not as good as UWorld but it is still a great resource and I feel like there were many questions that I was able to answer confidently on the real step one simply because I had done the Usimli RX questions so I do recommend the resource of Yosemite RX. However, this is what I would do differently if I had the time and if I could go back and study again. I would actually do Yosemite RX and try to finish it completely before my dedicated study time. Um, if I would have done that, I feel like I would have been better prepared 
um, to jump straight into UWorld and to focus completely on UWorld and first aid. And I would have already had a very, a much stronger um, foundation um, by doing those questions. So, for example, uh, I actually used Yosemite RX when we were studying the studying GI, and uh, um, those questions were actually one of my strongest questions throughout every single test that I had, practice test that I took during my dedicated studying. Um, so, that's one way I would use use it differently is is potentially to integrate it into my the first two years of studying. Uh, in medical school or I would um, somehow try in the last six months before your dedicated studying to try to do you know 20 to 40 questions a day whatever you need however many questions you needed to get done um, before your dedicated study time and that would give you a really strong foundation uh, to jump start your your studying now a little bit of my thoughts about first aid as most people are familiar with, first aid should be your primary resource for the Yosemite Step 1. And I covered first aid from cover to cover, two full passes. However, I had it open with every single question I did in UWorld and Yosemite RX. So I really feel that I probably did at least three passes. Um, and it is obviously the best resource however one thing I would have done a little bit differently is I wish that I would have known first aid a little bit better um, before I started my dedicated study time and by th by that I wish that I would have integrated into my uh, first two years of medical school a little bit more I thought that I had been using it quite a bit but there were some subjects and some materials that I hadn't even reviewed um, and I hadn't even seen in first aid before I started my dedicated study. So I wish that with each um, class or module that you, you take in your first two years, make sure that you are using first aid. And everybody talks about that, um, but I'm going to advocate it as well as make sure that you get into first aid within those first two years. Um, I really don't think there's anything more important than that. And on that same note, one of the reasons I feel like I didn't use first aid as much in my first two years of, stud of studying was I had actually signed up for firecracker and I did firecracker, um, I was dedicated to doing firecracker for about six to eight months, I can't remember exactly. And um, I thought that I liked it when I was doing for firecracker. I was probably doing 200 to 300 questions a day. Um, for and pretty consistently for I'll say about six months however looking back on it now honestly I don't think that that helped me very much and maybe people would say it's because you didn't stick out the program and whatnot but my honest feelings was the reason I quit using firecracker was I felt that, that it was focusing making me focus on details and things that were not completely high yield and I might have been missing the bigger picture. So instead of using Firecracker, I wish what I would have done was actually spent more time just reading first aid and studying first aid. And on that same note, using Yosemite RX because that's in the question format of the test. And Yosemite RX really helps to teach you some important key principles and it'll help you to remember those principles because you're answering those um, principles in a question format. So as you can probably tell I'm not an advocate of using firecracker. Just felt like it focused on too many small details that were not high yield uh, for the test. For some people it's an incredible resource and some people are able to score incredibly well using firecracker but I didn't find that it was a great resource for me. The last resource that I want to review would be Pathoma. I only used it for the first two to three weeks of my studying and I just simply found that I wanted to focus more time on first aid and UWorld and the phrasing that was used, the wording and phrasing that was used in um, UWorld. I didn't find that, and on the real test, on the real step one test there wasn't as many images and histology questions as 
I thought there might be. Um, so personally, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't use Pathoma. Some people love Pathoma, um, and if you don't understand a disease, it's a good place to start. Um, it has excellent descriptions, and uh, the videos are great. But for me, I, I didn't find it very useful during my dedicated time of studying. However, I should mention that I had reviewed nearly all of Pathoma within the first two years of medical school. So I had already reviewed it once prior. Um, not that I didn't get everything out of it the first two years, but I did, I did make a lot of notes and so I did review it within the first two to three weeks of my dedicated study time and I felt that, that was enough. And then I focused on uh, first aid in New World for pathology and histology. Now for a little bit about scores. I do not have my official step one score yet, I, but I will talk a little bit about from my scores from the beginning to the end. So from the very first, I took a practice test before I even started studying, and then I took a practice test about a week and a half before my actual test, and I increased a little bit over 40 points from beginning to end. So for me, that was a drastic change because I scored pretty low on a practice test when I first started um, studying, but I was able to increase about 40 points by the time I, on my practice test and by the time I finished studying. So I feel that the, the two MBMEs and the two UWorld tests that I took, um, the scores were actually fairly similar. Um, so I know there's lots of different things out there on blogs and student doctor about the scores but for me I felt like the scores correlated quite a bit with each other um, and were fairly similar. Alright that's it for this video if you have any questions about my study materials or how I use those materials to study please go ahead and put the questions down below in the comments if you like this video give me a thumbs up and look for some future videos um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching.